what's going on youtube jordan here this is just going to be a quick update on what i've been having going on and as far as my personal life goes i'll be doing a separate video on that i'm probably going to title it opening up about my depression and yeah i'm really just not going to hold y'all too long you know this just was a quick introduction to express my gratitude and uh let y'all know i'm very grateful for all the support and love y'all been showing me for this long so with that being said let's get into it I want to give you guys an update on what I've been working on with Guardian. If you remember last year, <clears throat> around the beginning of 2024, uh, there was a YouTuber called Shark Blocks, and uh, I believe a Roblox channel called Blocks and News, something like that, I don't know, on Twitter, and they would just kind of give you guys an introduction on Guardian. So if you guys don't know what Guardian is, just go look up Shark Blocks, or uh, if you have an account on Vermilion, you could go on my account on vermilion but i started working on this framework called guardian and i made my own anti-cheat to just kind of give myself a little simulation of different you know scenarios that i could uh deal with so what i would do usually do is i will make a detection mechanism and i would try to play as both the attacker and the defender so every single day i'm kind of in a constant uh, cat and mouse chase with myself. I definitely look to other people for inspiration, but um, I just tend to really stay in my own lane. I make challenges for myself and then, you know, I put obstacles in the way and then I try to come up with solutions on how I could, you know, defeat those obstacles. And then once I, you know, create a solution for that, then, you know, I go back to the attacker side and try to innovate think about different ways that I could <clears throat> you know find different loopholes to exploit and things of that nature I was telling um, early on in development of system guard I, I told people told you guys that there would eventually be a API a framework that I would be selling to developers so that's the code that you're looking at right now and you could see a couple of these tabs that's kind of giving you a hint of what I got planned okay so the code that I have highlighted right here right now what you're looking at um, is a new feature that I added in system guard called the uh, branch monitor or otherwise known as the branch recorder so excuse me give me a second as I mentioned earlier I've I've been uh, in a constant cat and mouse chase with myself you know creating security solutions and brainstorming different ways on how I could exploit those uh, you know find vulner vulnerabilities within those solutions and create bypasses and things of that nature so the end result of that was guardian and what i've come to terms with is regardless of whatever anti-cheat you're dealing with and i don't care if you're dealing with malware um because guardian isn't just a solution just for you know i didn't make this just for uh, cheats or developing cheats I really just made it to be a generic instrumentation framework that was built on stealth and uh, an anonymity or an I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right but I basically built it to be anonymous so the um, key differences between Guardian and your traditional frameworks is that <coughs> those frameworks are kind of built just for generic instrumentation while on the um, when it comes to guardian I really put a a huge emphasis on stealth um, and just being hidden every anti-cheat doesn't matter what game you're dealing with or any type of software really it really comes down to simple if statements right and control flow so basically you could think about it like Newton's law, right? What was his law? It's like every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction or something like that, right? So what do I mean by that? So let's take into consideration a cheat tool like Cheat Engine, right? If I open Cheat Engine while an anti-cheat is running, then that anti-cheat is going to crash. It might crash the application. It might send a packet to the server, you know, it could do uh, many different you know things regardless it really comes down to control flow so let's just make some simple code here let's just say make a variable say cheat engine detected you will have something like an if statement that says if cheat engine is detected then crash and then for the heck of it we'll go ahead and print a statement here saying 
she engine is detected right else um, we'll do like a print here she engine is not detected and then we'll just do a return to tell the program to continue okay so this is what guardian aims to exploit so assuming that we're never running cheat engine obviously you don't see cheat engine on my system right now assuming that we never run cheat engine then every single time that this function runs or this loop or this if statement runs right we expect this this particular um these instructions is what's going to execute and the only time that this should execute and try to crash my client is if chi engine is detected so if i were to open chi engine right now right <clears throat> oh ironically i forgot that i had that open so yeah just to kind of show you guys my example but roblox just crashed in this case so you know they might have some variable on the client that now says okay cheat engine is detected and you know then it just crashed as you've seen there now my goal is how can I monitor you know on a global scale how can I automatically know where the detection is happening for cheat engine right without having to do any reverse engineering when I made guardian my entire purpose is to determine how can I understand and hijack a program's control flow to where I'm informed at any given moment in time what particular instructions is executing because as we saw before or as I explained before when I didn't have cheat engine open this was always executing right this was always executing but now that cheat engine is running the anti-cheat would have done something like set this variable here to one and now it's going to crash my client so now that we understand that let's go ahead and use guardian to see how we could intercept something like that okay So as you can see right now, as I in, um, enter this script into uh, Guardian's virtual machine, it's now intercepting every single branch instructions that's running in the application. So what's a branch instruction? Well, it really just goes back to this statement that I was ex uh, <clears throat> explaining here earlier. So like I said, we have this if statement here. It says if cheat engine is detected, then print cheat engine is detected and crash the client, right? So these different brand statements that you're looking at right now, in assembly language, <clears throat> this code right here that you see would translate to these different things called branch instructions and otherwise known as jumps. So, okay, so they all look to be about the same. So I'm just going to throw one in there that's not on the list. Okay, so this one here stands for jump if equal. This one here stands for jump if not below or equal. This one here stands for jump if not equal. And this one here stands for jump if above. <coughs> so with, th with this in mind, something that this code right here that we're looking at in Lua in assembly language, it would come down to something like this. So rather than having this variable cheat engine detected or actually, yeah, let's do it like this so CMP in assembly stands for compare right so we could do something like compare cheat engine detected comma one and what we have here like I said this stands for jump if equal so this compare instruction is going to execute and it's going to say okay if cheat engine is detected then jump to crash right so at the bottom here we're going to have the code for crash and I'm just going to put some dot dot dots and return so it's going to basically crash the program you could just assume that this this area right here is some code that i have to crash the client and if cheat engine is uh cheat engine detected is one then this um jump if equal is going to go to this crash and then the client is going to crash now if it doesn't equal the one then this jump is not going to jump to crash it's going to jump to continue and where is continue right we're just going to put continue at the bottom here 
so this jump continue JMP just means uh, just jump directly so you see all these other jumps they they jump if a certain condition is met whereas JMP means just you know jump it's a called a unconditional jump so it will jump to this continue and then it's gonna return and from there you know the program is just gonna continue like normal so this is exactly what you see that's happening in Guardian's console here we're just monitoring all the different jumps and within these jumps more than likely one of these checks have to do with cheat engine so one of these checks somehow some way have to do with cheat engine is telling it to jump and you can see that I have the location that it's jumping to so the destination that you see here is the code I'm gonna uh, demonstrate that a little bit more um, but the destination is the location that is jumping to if the condition is met and then you could also see the time so um, it's 711 right now and this is just showing the time that the instruction was executed that's gonna be very important later on but just keep that in mind as you follow me on this video so I'm gonna go ahead and terminate the process now and I'm gonna explain to you so right here I have um, my Qi engine bypass so as you guys just saw I ran Qi engine and you saw that I was detected right I just ran a native version of Qi engine if I open it back again <clears throat> if I open Qi engine again you just see it's a normal Qi engine I don't I didn't rename the window I you know everything is the same the logo every single thing is the same this is if you download Qi engine 6.8.1 you're gonna have the exact same thing on your computer as me I, I made zero modifications right so with that in mind um, let me show you guys how I exploit these branch instructions to work in my favor so when once I made the branch recorder that I just demonstrated to you guys one of my first uh, experiments was to test how well it would work you know for a cheat engine bypass without me having to know anything about what the game code is doing just analyzing these different branches and the control flow of the application and then having system guard report that information to me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to run this code this is my cheat engine bypass by the way and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm able to run cheat engine without any bypass well technically it is a bypass but I meant to say without any modifications or any changes just the raw application and you know I, I, I made it run successfully and so how I managed to do that was I have a JSON API in Guardian where I could export Lua tables to a uh, disk or I could you know open JSON files and so these JSON files are just basically information it just holds information about all the different um, jumps and it has things like the time that they were executed things of that nature um, you're looking at this right uh, on the left of my screen here this is kinda what it looks like uh, JSON format you know showing what did it this is this is the old version of my branch recorder I'm gonna go over that into a second but yeah so I have these different um, instructions down here that's basically just saying okay open this JSON file so I have a JSON file and um, it has a uh, database called anti CE and this just has all the different branches that are associated with Qi engine and it has the condition which is the state so remember the condition right what's the condition so remember I was talking about JE means jump if equal and uh, JMB means jump if not below or equal so basically if a jump was taken so in this case this JE crash says to run this crash code right here right so if this jump was taken then I know that Qi engine will crash so what I want to do is I want to avoid you know I essentially want to erase this jump I don't want that to do you know I don't want it to crash so in um, in assembly language you have this thing called this instruction called no operation right it's like do nothing and so if I get rid of that jump then what's gonna happen is the unconditional jump is gonna execute and it's gonna run continue and the program is gonna exit this crash right here where I have the crash code 
um, just just imagine there's some imaginary code right here to crash the game and we're gonna basically jump over that crash code and we're gonna come to this continue and hit this ret which is short for return that basically just means run the program like normal like nothing has happened so this is what the condition means in this case and then I have this function in Guardian called toggle JCC and what it does is it reads the condition from my anti CE JSON file and what it does is it holds the condition for if Chi Engine is running or not so when I have this condition um, set to true or false just depending on which uh, what the application was comparing then Guardian will replace that jump just like I show you guys with the no operation and it will trick the game into essentially thinking that C Chi Engine isn't running so the first thing I'm going to do is I want, like I said I want to show you guys how I exploit branches and control flow to be in my favor so rather than hiding Chi Engine I'm going to go ahead and trick the game into thinking that Chi Engine is running first and then once we've done that I'm going to come back and modify this excuse me I'm going to come back and modify this code so that uh, we could actually have our bypass so let's see if we could trick the game into thinking that we're running a cheat okay so guardian is injected alright so and now we're gonna go ahead and enter our code and give it a second now sometimes I find that um, in order for the cheat engine check to trigger they actually fire the check based on whenever you open a new application so in some cases I might have to like open a second notepad or something you see it just triggered it right there because I opened a new window so even though this was the notepad window because of the fact that I changed that flag it now thinks oh this this dude is running cheat engine what you know what I'm saying it, it just completely crashes the uh, client Hold real quick make sure I copied that okay so now it says anti CE checks disabled let's go ahead and try to run cheat engine now and see what happens okay so I'm running cheat engine I'm gonna open a process okay memory view everything runs good see um, let's go ahead and uh, join a random game because sometimes you know it could take a while for it to trigger like I said let's open a notepad to see if anything triggers nope nothing triggers we're you know we're still running cheat engine um, let's go ahead and just try to do a scan right quick let's, let's go ahead and do a scan okay see we could easily scan values so we know that works can we go to settings yep we could go to our settings um, let's go, go ahead and view the memory real quick okay memory works fine um, let's go ahead and look at some modules yep all the modules is there like I said Guardian is external so you'll never see um, Guardian in the list of DLLs obviously um, <clears throat> it's not an exploit or anything it's just a instrumentation framework and the I would say like 99% of Guardian um, it's pretty much external only one percent of um, the actual uh, application or only one percent of Guardian is actually injected into the game and it's only like a few hundred lines of assembly language and that code is just for communicating with the process so Guardian again works on a client server architecture so whenever the game um, needs to do anything or if there's a certain function that we sandbox like in this case I just sandboxed the uh, branches that was respons um, responsible for detecting cheat engine so those branches go through Guardian and then um, Guardian tells the virtual machine oh yeah so that's what I forgot to mention because I did say 1% of Guardian was in the actual process the other side of Guardian is pretty much the sandbox which is the sandbox is just an instrumented code that we're uh, running so it basically takes the original code for the game and then it runs it in a sandbox so whenever the whenever the um, game would normally run to try to detect cheat engine rather than running the original code it runs 
in our sand box instead.